right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and let us today learn something silly. The God of Islam, Aka Muhammad, he knows everything, and he knows things nobody knows. And one of the things he knew, that when we go in the grave, there's 99 dragons will go inside the anus of the one who don't believe in the Prophet or the one who don't recite the Quran. 99 dragons, every dragon have seven heads. All of them, they will go inside the little anus of a Muhammadan. And if you see the Muslims when they explain to you what will happen in the grave, you look at their faces and you will see how much they are terrified. Horrible. Scary, brother. You are dead, yet somebody from the CIA is going to torture you. They will bring you from Zoo Villa, what, what's called Zoo Gila, what, what the movie called? I forgot the name, this uh, dinosaurs stuff. They will bring dragons from there. The mother of the dragons will go inside your... <laughs> if you look at this guy here in the video, you know, this is on Google. If you look at this guy, look at his face. He's explaining to you how the dragons will go inside your butt, brother. Godzilla? Godzilla, okay. <laughs> you can go and search right now in YouTube for punishment of the grave. I mean, you will see thousands of videos made by Muslims about when you die, two scary angels will come to you. One, his name is Munkar, and the other one, his name is Nkir. A brother. You are dead in the grave, and you think you are done for today. You are very mistaken. In fact, they are going to ask you questions. There's a video here in front of me, but I wish I can play it. But you know, if I play it, they will they will uh, uh, file copyright, uh, you know. And here he will explain to you this Abdul, how you will be terrified, and how uh, uh, you know uh, uh, they will ask you questions. The first question: Who is your God? Who's your God? If you say Allah. You pass the first question. The second question, what is your religion? If you say Islam, you pass the second question. They will show you a picture of the Prophet Muhammad. And they will ask you, who is this? You say Prophet Muhammad. If you make any mistake in any of those three questions, they will hit you with the hammer in your head. I don't know why people they keep saying to me play the video of Rob Christian. What does that mean? Why I need to play the video of this of uh, of Rob Christian? What's wrong with you people? We want to play a video of a Muslim to show what Muslims believe. Is Rob Muslim a Christian? Is a Muslim? What's wrong with people? And why I want to play a video of somebody is a Christian? You people have a problem. Is anybody drinking camel urine these days? We use Muslim reference to prove the point. Using Christian is not a point. It's a stupid. Now listen. You are in the grave. And Allah will punish you. <sighs> oh, 
all those stories is about the punishment of the grave, including Ibn Kathir. Do you think Muslim girl wear hijab because of little girl? I mean, what's wrong with people? Guys, listen, if you are not adult, if you are not mature, please leave the, leave the chat. We have a topic. Either you are mature and you are an adult. Imagine you go and to listen to a topic and now you're asking about something that have nothing to do with the topic. What's wrong with people? Don't you hear what we are talking about? Are we talking about hijab now? Is that the topic? Maybe I should not look at the chat no more. We talk about potato, they talk about tomato. Unbelievable. What's wrong with you? Are you a Muslim? Now, the 99 dragons will go inside the, the, the private part of the Muslim. Those are proven to be scientifically correct. Because, okay, you are a dragon and you are in the grave. And where you are going to go? What, stay homeless? No way. I mean, logically, logically, think about it. Where you will go? Put yourself in the shoe of a dragon. Hmm? Always, if you want to understand the story taught by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you have to put yourself in the shoe of the person who is, uh, you know, is, is part of the story. All right? So now you are a dragon and there is a grave and there is nowhere to go. Where you go? What do you do? You look for any hole. I mean, this is very, very scientific and very logical. It happens all the time, all the time. And actually, if you don't believe me, you can watch the movie. Uh, there is a woman she called the mother of the dragon. And she was drinking Starbucks next to her, the mother of the dragon. So, a Muslim is in the grave, and there is 99 dragons, and they don't have a home. Where do they want to go? They look for any hole. And what is the most nice hole they can sleep inside? Obviously, it is the private part, the anus of a Muslim, according to the Prophet. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call us and tell us about the 99 dragons will go inside the private part of the Muslim in the grave? And how in the world you Muslims believe in this? Who is a Muslim believe in this to be true? Or he believe that Muhammad is a liar? Anyone? And not only dragons, there is a scorpion, and there is uh, uh, the angels, and the angels, by the way, they have a hammer. Uh, what it's called, the, the hammer in the movie, the guy, he is uh, the, in the fiction movie, what it's called? The guy, he have a hammer, he hit things with it, and he destroy everything. What that movie called? See, I don't have a good memory when it's come to those stuff. So there is Thor, uh, Thor, okay, Thor. Yeah, in the movie of Mr. Thor, may Allah uh, uh, please be pleased with him because he is Thor and he have a hammer like obviously he is an angel of Allah too. So the angels of Allah, they will come to you and they will have a big hammer made from steel in their hand. And by the way, you can buy it. It's an Amazon. I mean, look, they make a big deal about it in the movie. It is an Amazon. Look, you can buy it even for 60. Uh, this is this one is heavy, $299. And I'm sure there's many, many, many idiots. They will think by buying it, they will become like this guy in the movie. 
So the angels will come with the hammer like this, made of a, from very heavy steel, and they will hit you in your face. I'm so glad they will not hit you in your... <coughs> 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 you Muslims believe in this? Do you really believe in this? Do you? Who is a Muslim want to tell me that he really believe in this? Hello? No, no, no. I cannot tell you where I was guessing they will hit him. No, none of what you said. Absolutely not. You guys are, you have dirty mind. What are you talking about? What? Uh, no. I was talking about like they will hit him in, uh, you know, over his iPhone. Hello? Where it, where, where it hurt a human being these days more? His body or his phone? No, his phone. They will break his phone, brother. <laughs> so, Mohammedans, what is this? Who is a Muslim? He can tell us what is this. Allah knows best. The Prophet knows best. All what I see is a crazy stuff. Muhammad, he slept with the women in her grave, Fatima bin to Asad, because he claimed that if he slept with her in the grave, the squeeze of the grave and the punishment of the grave will be less. Huh. If the Prophet sleep with you, your punishment is less. <laughs> That's a good business. You Muslims believe in this? One of the funny things, Muhammad, he said, what is the main reasons to be punished in the grave? Anyone knows? What is the main reason? Like what? Why Allah will be so upset? Main, like main, main reason. Something very serious. If I tell you that the main reasons for Allah to torture you in the grave is your urine, you will not believe it. That is a serious crime in the sight of Allah. It's not because you rape a woman or you rape a child, you are a child molester. No, 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 no. <clears throat> no, no. The main reason is urine. And this is a proven to be very accurate. And I will prove it to you scientifically. Have you ever heard or see a dog is pissing? What he do? He left his head, his leg up. Why? 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 Because he understand the consequence of the urine. So if you urinate and some urine touch your foot or even your hand, Allah will seek revenge. He will send two angels and those angels will ask you three questions. And I wonder why in Islam and everything is a three. I mean, Allah, Jibreel, Muhammad. You do ablution, you have to wipe your hands three times. Muhammad say, Assalamu Alaikum three times. You say, Ash-Shahada three times. You swear you say it three times. Everything is three times. If you divorce your wife three times, you cannot get back to her unless she sleep with the for one. What is this, man? So now you are dead, and the angels, they will come to you. And here you notice the stupidity of this story. 
How Muhammad he said that they will ask you three questions. Who is your Lord? You say Allah. What is your religion? You say Muhammad. Sorry, Islam. And what is who is this? They will show you a picture. You say Muhammad. Okay. But they did not ask him about the urine. I mean, do you see anything in the other story you mentioned about the urine? There's no urine. They did not ask him why you did urinate in this day and etc. and you touch yourself. I mean, this is stupid, man. Number two. If Allah will ask you three questions, and if you pass those questions, you are saved from the punish of the grave. Okay, we Christians, we know the questions now, and we know the answer. <laughs> when I die, the two angels of Allah, they will come to Christian Prince, and they will ask him the serious questions, the quiz of death. Who is your Lord? I will say, Allah! What is your religion? Islam. And the angel now he look at me and the final answer question will come. Who is this guy in this picture? And I will look. And I will look again. <sighs> is that Tom Cruise? No. He's more handsome. He looked like Trump, but he's not Trump. Hmm. Is that Monica Lewinsky? No. Because his breast is bigger. If you remember, the Quran says that Allah extended the breast of the Prophet. Hmm. Oh, okay. I got it. Because they are so big, obviously, this is the Prophet Muhammad, as the Quran said. So right away, I will say, Muhammad, and the angel, he will say, Bingo. You pass. Muslims, did you ever see the Prophet Muhammad picture? How you will know how he look like? I mean, what kind of a quiz, what kind of a questions? And what the point of these questions, if we know the answer already, he told us 1400 years ago, what the questions and what the answers. So everybody now will pass. The Hindus will pass. The Jewish will pass. The Christian will pass. We go in the grave. The two angels come to us and we give them the correct answers. To fool them. I mean, have you ever heard of an investigation more funny than this? And if they are angels, don't they knew what his religion? So are you saying to me they will not know his religion unless he give the correct answer? And yeah, actually, somebody says. He thought that pictures is forbidden Islam. Suddenly, Allah Himself is printing pictures, and I'm, I will not be surprised if he bought his uh, his a printer uh, made in China, not in America, because he is uh, anti-America. Do we have any Muslim here want to say something? And I will show you. Where Muhammad, he got his fictions. Muhammad, the fool, he is a person who have no religion. He is just a fool. Always the Jews is behind his stupid stories. If we go a little bit in this page, we will find another hadith. Read carefully with me and try not to laugh. A Jewish woman enter into me. Who's talking Aisha, the wife of the Prophet? A Jewish woman. Okay. When this Jewish woman, she enter upon Aisha, she said the following. The torment of the grave is because of urine. No piss. I don't want to say that no, no, shit, you know, it's not nice. No, in this case, no piss. Who is the one who said that first time? A Jewish woman. Who is the first one who ever heard that thing? Aisha. 
and the proof, Aisha, she said to her, you are lying. Oh, you are what? You are lying. The Jewish woman, she said, no, it's true. It's true. And you know, women, when they get excited, obviously their nails will come up and they will go for aggression stage now. Almost they will go and jump like fight now. And the Jewish woman, she said, we cut our skin and the clothes because of it. Which means if she, if you're in touch, their skin, they will cut it off. The messenger of Allah went out to pray. Uh, the prophet, he don't pray inside because he want everybody to see him praying. Inside is not accepted. No, no, no. I have to show everybody. He heard that there's people in the yard. So now he want to show off that he is going to pray. He's a good man. A Jewish woman outside, they want to show her. So he went out to pray and our voice became loud. He said, what is this? And you know the prophet, when he say, what is this? is like saying, what is that? And when he say, what is that? It's like, what the heck? I'm trying to explain to you right? because I know that most of your English is funny. I'm the only one who speak good English here. So the prophet said, what is this? So I told him that she had said, which mean, you know, the urine is the reason for the punishment of the grave. He, say, he said, look, the prophet, he said, who, who? The prophet. The prophet, he said. She spoke the truth. She spoke the truth. What's wrong with you, Aisha? She spoke the truth. The punishment of the grave happened because of urine. This is true. And you can imagine Aisha in this moment, her mouth is wide open like, what? Like, what? What? Like, what? And the prophet shouting, she spoke the truth. And he must be shaking now because this is very, very passionate moment. I mean, we're talking about the punishment of the grave. <laughs> and I will not be surprised if Muhammad, he was shaking. And look what Aisha, she just said. After that day, never he offered any prayer but he said following the prayer Rabbu Jibreel wa Ma'ikail wa Israfil aid in me translation uh, oh Lord of uh, Mikael, Lord of Jibreel Lord of Israfil those supposed the angels okay grant me refuge from the punishment of the grave like what? Do you notice the scam? Guys, do you, anyone notice why, why, why we just approved Muhammad to be a scam? Who noticed? Why? Why Muhammad is a scam, obviously? Anyone want to help me? What is the proof from this hadith that Muhammad is nothing but a scam? Okay, do you see here it says after that, after that, Aisha, let me, let me highlight that for you in different color. We will choose a blue, w women, they like a blue, okay, just for the sake of the ladies here. Let us make them happy for one time in their life. I mean, come on. Uh, after that day, he never offered any prayer, but he said, following the prayer, Seeking refuge from the Lord of Mikael and Jibrail, etc., from the punishment of the grave. Before that date, he never mentioned it. Before he heard that from the Jews, the Jews women, she said that Muhammad liked the idea, he adopted, and he said this is the truth. And after that prayer, Muhammad never prayed to Allah without repeating that sentence. Okay, question. Why before that date Muhammad never mentioned this prayer? Why? The urine before was okay? <laughs> the urine before this point was holy. The urine after that became dirty. 
why Aisha she never heard Muhammad speaking about the urine issue and never heard him speaking about seeking refuge by Allah from the punishment of the grave because of Mr. Urine. Do we have any Muslim? I don't care if Muhammad is scared of the grave or not. This is another question here. The question is, isn't it obviously it's a scam? You never before pray saying that. Suddenly the Jewish woman, she said that, and suddenly he, he said the same prayer aged in every prayer. I seek refuge from Allah and the punishment of the grave. What do you want more proof that Muhammad is a false man? A Jewish woman, she made him say that. Who is a Muslim in the chat? He believe in the punishment of the grave. You want to call? Are you there, Fadi? You want to call me to open Skype for you? I don't see him saying anything. Who is a Muslim? He believe in this, that Allah will torture you because of your piss. By the way, I'm going to open a company uh, for piss insurance. I mean, you will be tortured, obviously. And because of that, you need to be insured. So look what our company will provide you. Piss coverage and piss coverage will piss you off because after you pay all the payment for our insurance company you go to the grave and you will find that there is no insurance do you Muslims believe in this reading can you unblock Abbas come on I mean I have enough of kids like, who is Abbas? Abbas is driving. Leave Abbas alone. <laughs> Abbas is terrified now. You know, he pissed in the other day. You know, he, he told us. He pissed, you know. Unbelievable. Leave Abbas alone. He have a lot of, you know, punishment at the grave waiting for him. How we can avoid the punishment of the grave if we piss, brother? What do you think? Uh, civilized debate hmm. a Muslim talking about civilized debate you know when your prophet let me tell you about your civilized debate let us take a break from this topic about pissing when when the when the Christians supposedly according to the Quran they came to Muhammad and they said to him if you are a man answer us what Muhammad did let me show you what Allah told Muhammad how to answer the Christians. Then whoever dispute with you concerning him, Isa, after all the knowledge came to you, brother. Okay. Tell them, uh -huh. come. Come. Show me. Silence me. No, actually, he did not say that. We have to be honest. He says, come, let us call our sons and your sons, your women and our women, ourself and yourself, and invoke and pray to Allah to curse the one is lying. And you are talking about a civil debate. It's a cursing debate. Have you ever heard of a debate of cursing? Your God is helping Muhammad with the correct answer to the Christian. The Christian asking him about Jesus. What cursing have to do with the question? So I ask you, why you are saying this about Jesus? What do you say? Come. Come. Bring your children. I bring my children, and Muhammad don't have a children. Bring your wives. I bring my wives. What is that? 
and now we have a cursing party your wives and my children and me versus your wives and your children and you and we are cursing may I look at your nose may I look at your toes may I look at your finger may I look at your team you are got that other peanut I go to about a no get about a dinner the no the no the no hey the no the no go to about that day cursing day cursing day cursing every way hey what is that this is religion Are you there, Mr. Civil? Allah knows best. What kind of Allah is Allah? The, the people are asking you a question about Isa. Answer them. What this is the uh, bring and bring, 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 in which language is this, this guy is talking? In which, I mean, where this guy is coming from? He's, he's an alien? Do you think Muhammad is an alien? Yeah, this is Mubahala, yeah. Do you think this is an, about alien? Huh? <sighs> Why you are calling me name? Cut off. Uh, uh, a, a true tank. Uh, who are you? Who are you? You are saying I hang up on you. Who are you? Who are you? Are you the ultimate fort? Are you the one who just said to me two days ago what he said, guys? Anyone remember? <laughs> the Rashad Khalifa boy. Oh boy. Jesus is a revelation. You forgot? Hmm. Now we go back. And in the beginning, he denied too. What a kid. What a stupid kid. We go back to the punishment of the grave. Muhammad, not only he learned from the Jews, and I believe the Jews are making fun of him in most of the cases, Muhammad, he insert what he learned from the Jews in the Quran. Is that correct, Muslims? Once Muhammad, he was walking during the sunset. And he claimed that he heard a sound and nobody heard that sound except him. So he said, those, I just heard something. Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Uh, prophet, we don't hear anything. Yeah, I, I heard it. I heard it. Okay, prophet, what you heard? The Jews are being tortured in their graves. What? What? Muhammad, he can only hear the Jews tortured in the grave. He cannot hear any other voices, only the Jews. <laughs> and, and here you notice that Muhammad, he have a special ears. Nobody can hear that. Only Muhammad. Isn't it amazing, brother? And then Muhammad, he start adding rules to the prayer. He told the Muslims, when you are dying and you say the Shahada, the last Shahada, ask Allah from four things. Father Muhammad, he changed from number three, it become number four. Okay, what is the four things? The Prophet, he said, let us see if I can find the hadith to you. I'm not sure if I will find it here, but we will try. Okay, here we go. Allah Messenger said, when any of you finish the last tashahud, you are dying now. 
let him seek refuge with Allah from four things from the torment of hell from the torment of the grave from the trial of life and death and from the interpolation of the Messiah the false what the guy is dying what the Messiah and what the revelation of the false Messiah would do to him he's dying is he going to see the Messiah he's dying and here you notice what Muhammad he just heard from a Jewish woman he start inserting that teaching in every place he go in the beginning he never mentioned that After Muhammad, he answered that everywhere. Allah knows best. Notice until now, not even one Muslim in the chat, he says to us that he really believe in the punishment of the grave. And I do not know why. Where is the Muslims? Who is a Muslim he believe really that Allah will punish you because of your urine. This is a, a stupid uh, uh, translation. It's not. It's not exist. This is Al Masih al Dajjal. This guy who typed it. I mean, he's an idiot. What I can say. Al Masih, which means the Messiah, al Dajjal. Dajjal in Arabic means the the liar. This is a stupid translation. Be aware, my friend. If you are a person who try to start a new business, as an example, a prophet, try always to speak to the Jews because they can inspire you with a lot of things to flavor your cult. Any Muslim? Ah, oh, look, hold on, hold on. Hold on, guys. Mr. Fadi, he gave us an answer here. Uh, finally, Fadi, he was squeezing his head, searching Prophet Gogol, and then he come to conclusion that this guy is telling the truth. We cannot deny it. So look what he said. I do believe in the punishment in the grave. And yes, and yes. Hold on, I need to highlight this yes, because this is a big yes. We, we cannot let this yes go for nothing. I mean, this is, this is deep. Hold on. And yes. I did not highlight it yet. I need we need red here. We cannot we cannot use a blue for such a yes. And yes, Muhammad told us that because it's make you nudges. So it is an emphasis on being clean and like the Jews who take bath once a month. Do you see how stupid what you just said, Fadi? It was the Jew women who said, "If we, if the, if the urine touch our skin, we cut, we cut it." And your prophet, he said, "Yes, she is telling the truth." <laughs> you see, Fadi, even your your prophet, he got you busted. You claim that the Jews are dirty. In fact, you're a prophet trying to learn from the Jews how to be clean. Now, as long you are talking about dirty and clean, and taking a shower once a month. Let me ask you, Mr. Fadi, is it true that your prophet used to take a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period? Hmm? Is that true, Mr. Fadi? Brother? Is that true, brother? That your clean prophet brother, he used to take a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period, and even there is garbage in the water, brother. Read carefully. I heard that the people as the prophet of Allah S A W S M F O O O O F sixteen mirage phantom. So hoy. Water is brought for you from the will of Bidah. 
This is why it's called bida, because every rubbish is a throw in there. It's well in which dead dogs, minstrel clothed, and experiment of people are thrown in. Actually, it says garbage in Arabic. The Messenger of Allah said, Verily, water is pure. It is not defiled by anything. Da -da -da -da. Are you there, uh, Fadi? Fadi, Fadi, where are you? Muhammad is looking for you. I want you to jump in that water. And don't forget to take selfie of you. Fadi, Fadi, where are you? Please take a shower like your prophet. Shame on you if you don't do it. I want you to take a shower like the prophet. Would water have dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage? And you take a selfie video, selfie huh? video, and says water is always pure. Fadi, you just said that the Jews are dirty and the prophet, he taught you to be clean. Hello, Fadi? Hello? Obviously, the prophet was extremely clean. Actually, once I was debating a kid, his name Osama Abdullah. <clears throat> I don't know if the guy, you know him, like the guy who have a lot long hair, he make it like girls, you know, one to the left, one to the right. Uh, Christian Prince, we are Muslims, we are clean, not like you Christians. You take a shower once a month, you are filthy. And you have a lot of lice in your head. Uh, I said to Osama, <clears throat> are you saying the one who have lice is dirty? He said, hello, obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, we have lice, you idiot. <laughs> sure, yeah, you have lice because you are dirty. Only dirty people, they have lice in their head. And then I said to him, so why your prophet was, has, you know, was suffering from lice all over? He said, where, 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 where? And then I showed him the hadith. And the second I showed him the hadith, it is the same second lice was an entertainment in that time at that time lice was normal people don't have tv <laughs> unbelievable i'm really i love i love the abdul i love them so are you there fadi fadi is it true that your prophet used to have a lot of lice Are you there, Fatty? You just said the Jews are dirty. So I'm asking you. What do you think? I think Fatty is... Uh, he took the first uh, spaceship from NASA. And actually, Muhammad, not, not only this, if you go to Ibn Kathir, Muhammad, he claimed in the book of Ibn Kathir, he says that the Prophet says that Allah, he tortured his prophets in a special tortures just to examine them by lies. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh boy. <laughs> There is a woman, her name is Ummu Haram, because obviously she was a whore. Ummu Haram, which means the mother of the unlawful. The Prophet, he used to go and lay down in her lap. And what she do? She start taking lies from his head. You believe it? Any Muslim want to say I'm not saying the truth? Yahya related to me from Malik from 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 visited Ummu Haram. Okay. She feeded him. What Ummu Haram she did? She feed him or she fed him. 
And then one day the messenger of Allah, he called her, blah, 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 blah. She fed him and sat down to disclose to, sorry, the laws, his, his hair. What the laws mean? I don't know if the translation is correct. In Arabic, it should be, she is taking lies from his hair. Is that what this means? You guys help me with the with the meaning of the word in English. Does it mean that? Does that mean word like you you take the the lies from the head? The laws. Oh, okay, so it's uh, okay. I I thought they are playing games in the translation. So uh, are you there, Fadi? Fadi, are you there? Are you there, Fadi? What happened to Fadi? I will not be surprised if Fadi he lose, you know, he leave Islam. I think he left Islam already. I think, I think. You know. I mean. But this is really a very interesting, I mean, moment in the life of the Prophet and very romantic. A woman, she is not his wife. He is laying down in her lap and she is taking lice from his fur. I mean his hair. Any Mohammedan? Hello? And you are saying the Jews are dirty? Lord have mercy. So anyway, our topic today, <clears throat> will you answer for Christianity? You, okay, why you want to talk about Christianity if we have the best religion around us? Who would, who care for Christianity? This is the best prophet. Don't you notice how serious the situation now? The prophet is full of lies, and we are trying to find how we can get lies like him. I feel jealous now. I mean, I'm not a prophet, but I think I have the right to get lies too. Huh? You do wudu, but you don't wash. What wudu? Wudu, putting some water in your hand, some water in your face. You don't wash. And here we go. Your prophet is taking shower in a in a in a water full of dogs and warm blood. Stop being a fool. Obviously, this is very crazy, man. Obviously, there is there is no way this man is not suffering from mental illness. Otherwise, you see the Arab there. They are saying to him, "Why you are doing that?" That's why they are asking him, why you are doing that? Because the Arab didn't do that. Obviously, Muhammad is a madman. Read carefully with me. It was said, Oh Allah Messenger, shall we use the water of Bida to perform ablution? You, you perform ablution, Fadi? From which water? From the will, which menstruation, rags, flesh of dogs, and garbage you're throwing in it? The Prophet said, water is always pure. Nothing make it impure. I thought that the menses of women will make you impure. Are you there, Fadi? Huh? The truth tank debate you about what? Who are you? Who are you? Wait, wait, okay, I will open sky for you, truth tank. I want to see this tank. Who is this tank? Is this guy here? He's making too much noise. I want to see what this guy uh, is going to answer. I mean, hold on, this guy is a tank, and obviously he is a tank guy. Okay, I open my sky. Here we go. Text me tank. I'm logging in. We want to see Mr. Tank. 
and his wisdom. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. Time for comedy. What's your name, Mr. Tank? In Skype. Is your name Abdul Tank? What's your name? I'm waiting for your name. What's your name? What's your name? So suddenly now you are not going to say to us what's your name? What's I mean? All this noise for what? <clears throat> So you are going crazy for the last uh, uh, etc and now we ask you what's your name to call you you don't want to give us your name what's your name labaka this is the same guy labaka the same so this is the same guy the same guy as uh, uh, ultimate fort okay all right hold on let's call ultimate fort I wasn't sure that this is uh, the same uh, fart, but as long as it's him. All right. <clears throat> ba -ba 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 -ba. Skype is Baba. What Baba? Your Skype is Baba. Now I can't find this Baba here. Is a Skype is Baba. Baba or La Baba something. <coughs> Let's see. Baba, Baba. Um. I'm just trying to find him. Okay, now I found the other. <coughs> this guy is not even online. Are you online? Are you sure? I bet you he's using the internet of the neighbors. Are you using the internet of the neighbors? Hmm? Bambino? Let me try one more time. <laughs> yeah, he's not even there. Anyway, just let your dad call me. You know, this guy is an idiot. Every day he called me, he got recorded, he got busted, people make fun of him, and they spread the video all over. 
and he try again to call me to to gain back his honor, but he never get back. He lose. He, there's, there's no more honor left <laughs> to risk. Let us see. <coughs> uh, let us see this guy. <clears throat> what happened? We text them, they don't text back. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? What about Fadi? Let us see Fadi. Fadi, come on. Hey, Fadi, how are you? Hello. Hello, hello. Yes. Hello. So, you, Fadi, you said that the Jews are dirty and they take a shower once a month. Do you have any reference of that? Uh, or you have a dirty mouth and you like to call people names only? No, not really, but that's what. Okay, so not say. really. Now, I have a proof, as you see. That your prophet he used to take a shower with dead dogs and women blood from period and the water have garbage. So what do you say about that? No, it didn't say that. No, it says that. It says that. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean it doesn't say that? What do you mean it doesn't say that? What do you mean it says go, that? Go back to the hadith again. Okay, okay here we go. Read the hadith. Okay, it's in front of us on the screen. not on the screen it's not in the screen hold on let me see let me be sure that the screen is working hold on give me a second yeah you are right it's not a screen and the genie he switched okay now do you see it now no it's dead. Hmm. it might take a minute, a minute for you to come yeah yeah all right read it for us go ahead Okay, it was said that the messenger of Allah, mm. uh, you perform wudu from the well into which the bodies of dogs, menstrual rags, and garbage are thrown. He mm. said, water is pure and uh, it is not made impure by anything. Mm. You said it doesn't say that. I said to you. No, yes, it it, it, did, it doesn't say that he took a shower with the water. He performed wudu. You are the one who says to me, we perform wudu five times a day, correct? Yes. Okay, so you you told me that we are clean because we perform wudu. So what you are saying to me, wudu is not a shower, and, but yet you claim that wudu will make you clean. If it is not a shower, you were lying to us? You are giving us fake news, claiming that you are clean because you do wudu, but now you are denying that wudu is a shower. So what wudu does? That's me wudu. does not clean you. Well, uh, well, it does clean, but not the whole body. Aha, uh -huh. so you are half dirty, half clean when you do wudu. Yes. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. So Mr. Half Dirty, Half Clean, I'm not sure which half of you is speaking to me now. However, whichever half is speaking to me, I want to know what kind of a prophet he do do in a water have dead dogs and women blood from ministration and their rags and garbage thrown in it. Well, he, say, he says in the hadith, water is pure and it's not made impure by anything. That's wonderful. So if we put a dead dog in your shower top and we ask you to do a pollution and your wife, she throw her rag from ministration, 
you take the water, you put it in your nose. Is that correct? Uh, okay, just listen. Uh, uh, maybe... uh, no, no, answer the question. If, if, if the water have women blood from period and dead dog in your bathtub and we have garbage thrown in there, you will take the water and sniff it in your nose and in your mouth to do a pollution. Do you do that? Well, if I was in a case where water is cho is in shortage, mm. like he, he was living in the desert, uh -huh. so they had to like preserve water. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh -huh. so yes, I think. Uh -huh. No, because they because, have, because in no, Islam there is no, they a, have, a rule have, which you no, know. No, there is a spring of water is enough for all the houses there, and they, they, he's the only one who's doing that. This is what they are saying to him. Oh, Messenger, you are doing that. Don't you see the Arab? They are saying to him. The Arab, they don't, all the other Muslims, they, don't, they never saw this before. Nobody saw this before. Obviously, Muhammad is a crazy man. You see, they say to him, it was said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, are you doing that? They are questioning his mentality. How you do that? So how people live, how people clean themselves. So Muhammad is doing something nobody did. Don't he have a water to, to drink? Are they dying? He is living in Mecca and he is in he have a house and they have a well, they have a water, and this is this is the garbage water, this is the sewage water. Yeah, there could be some explanation for this hadith. Always you say to me there could be some explanation, but you never give me the explanation. If you see a man, be honest with me. If you enter the, the bathroom and you have you have a son, and in the bathroom in the top there's a dead dog, and there's a big garbage of uh, a bag uh, throwing all the garbage there, and somebody, women, she throw her her uh, menstruation whatever in the bathtub, and he is playing with the water. What do you do? Say to him, be honest. I tell him don't do that. Okay, That's don't do that. Why you don't do that? Why you say to him don't do that? <clears throat> uh because obviously the water will be contaminated thank you so you you just admitted that your prophet is a liar because he just said that this water never will be impure well i think i think it in this way uh they lived in the desert doesn't they matter my friend like doesn't matter no. of people water. who live in the desert they, they were questioning him for doing that they are in the desert too they are not in alaska those who ask him do you do that they are in the desert too so what if they are in the desert? To clean yourself, you don't jump in the garbage. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, a truth tank, just go, man. Just go. Just get get out of here. We are done with you. Are you there, Fadi? Poor connection. Is using the internet of the neighbor. Are you there, Fadi? Yes, I am. Okay, so now you admitted that you will not let your son do that. And you are saying because he's in the desert, but as you see, the Arab who they are in the desert, they are questioning his behavior. They are not doing the same. They never did the same. All of them, they have the same amount of water. All of them, they live the sm small, sm tiny town. So why they are finding this is strange? And look, they are telling him why you are doing that, and they are mentioning how you do such a thing, where dog, dog, dead dogs, and women blood, and their rags, and garbage, and even the hadith it says stinky, stinky water, najis. And then Muhammad he said, water is always impure, and you are the one who said this water must be contaminated because because this is dirty which means you agreeing that muhammad must be a liar because he said water is always a pure which is not true okay there, there is another hadith where muhammad says uh, mm. this is about religion about doing abolition well, it could be that. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, this is about evolution. And the Muslim, they were following and they asked him, Can we do that? He said, Yes. I can show you the other hadith. They asked him, Can we do that the same as you do? They said, Yes. So now this has became a habit. And you, if you are an honest man, you should not do evolution in normal water. You should throw garbage 
and they're the blood of uh, 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 like dead dogs. You know, you can purchase some from somewhere. I mean, look for somebody have a dog who die, and you can save the water of the dead dog, and you can ask your wife to give you some menstruation blood and mix it with it, and then you can add some, uh, you know, uh, piss and urine, and then you know you do shower with it and you do ablution, and then Allah bless you. No, why would I do that? If, if I have a clean water, I will just do ablution with the but, clean water. But, my, you, but if okay. I don't, if I don't have clean water, was your have, prophet uh, drinking from the same water? Was your prophet drinking from the same water? No, they have zamzam. So why he's doing this? As you see, the people are asking him, why you do that? Oh, messenger of Allah, you perform wudu from the well into which the body of dogs and menstrual rags and garbage are thrown in? Question mark. They are questioning why he is doing that. They are not saying this is normal. Otherwise, if they are doing that, they will not ask him. Don't you think that this is a crazy behavior, Paddy? Be honest. Well, maybe uh, it can be explained by the rule which says uh, <laughs> My friend, this is not Daruri. Yeah. Secondly, what, what, how stupid it is to make yourself dirty more in order to be clean more. That will make you more dirty and you might get even sick. So what Darurat? If you want to pray to Allah, to be, water. even your prophet, he in says, you, no, your prophet, he says, you can do tayammum, you can even wash your hands by the sand. So you do not even need water if there's no water. This is a lie. If there's no water at all, you can just wipe your hand with the sand and they are done. That's what your prophet said. So here he's saying that this is because water is always pure. He gave the reason, which is absolutely false. And you are you are you agree that this is false. Well, maybe he's right. Maybe water as uh, ah, part of it. a second ago, true. a second ago, you said to me, you will tell your son, don't do that because obviously the water contaminated, and now. Uh, like uh, 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 full of, of germs and bacteria, and now you are saying to me, maybe he was right. How he can be right? It's a small, tiny space of water, dirty water. is not a well where the water coming from it. You just say the water there is a priceless, right? So this is not a well of water where water is coming from the from the earth. No, this is a hole in the ground. Maybe it used to be a well before, but water of the sewage run to it this is why people they throw garbage there because it's not useful no more it's an empty uh, wheel and when some water come from the houses you know all days there's no sewage people they have a uh, water run from the door front door and go out in the street and then it go to the lowest area in the town so Muhammad knew about this uh, well or he didn't uh, know for sure he knew like what he is doing he is doing it there what's wrong with you Okay, then he's doing it for, uh, for a reason. Okay, so what is the reason? Them, okay. show them, uh, he told them the reason. He told them the reason. The water is, is pure. <laughs> uh, uh, Fadi, are you, are you, uh, do you have, I don't want to, I don't want to make you upset and say you're, you're like you have a low IQ, man. Listen, he told them why he is doing that. He says water is pure. This is his excuse. And nothing make it impure. So they are, what, 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 what does that mean? They are saying to him, this is impure water. He's saying, no, having dogs, dead dogs, having rags, having all the garbage there will not make it impure. Well, the way, the way you, you, you talk, yes, it, it obviously sounds silly. It's not, the way, it's not the way I talk. No, don't stop lying. It, here we go. The Arab, the Muslims are question his behavior those are Muslims by the way because they are saying wudu the one who used this term and the one who practiced this is only Muslim so they are saying oh Messiah of Allah you perform wudu from the will of Buddha which dogs and menstrual drugs thrown and garbage thrown in the Muslims question his behavior and the excuse is it's pure so what if there's dead dogs so what if there is garbage so what if there is women rags? Not only not only their blood, it is the rags. <laughs> Which means it's full of a blood. And the rags itself is in the front of your face. Well, there, there could be some explanation for this. For sure, argument. always there is explanation. I will tell you, brother, what explanation is. The Prophet Muhammad, the second he put his finger in anything, 
this water will become like a water coming from heaven. Actually, I heard that when the prophet, he put his finger somewhere, the, any liquid will turn into Pepsi Cola. And in some scenario, seven up. And this is why after the American went to Afghanistan and Afghanistan, nobody, no more walk without walking seven steps and jump. This is the explanation. What explanation? I don't know. I'll check. Mm. Uh, Allah knows best. Okay, thank you, Fadi, for uh, for your conversation. Feel free to call me back if you squeeze your head, scratch it, try to find something. You know, uh, I, but I advise you to understand the situation, to experience that. Go and find somebody. His dogs die. Like publish on the internet. Anyone have a dead dog? Bring it, and then ask neighbors if you don't have a wife. Do you have your period? Let her get you some period and stuff. And then get some garbage. I think you have garbage at home. Huh? If you don't have, I can donate some for you. Throw it all in the bathtub. And I jump in the bathtub. And I want you to make a video sneezing the water inside your ear and inside your nose and inside your mouth. Three times. Three times. And I will visit you after that in the hospital. Take care, Fadi. Bye. <laughs> I'm very sure that there is explanation for this. I'm very sure. I'm, I'm sure too. You are sure and I am sure. We are both sure. For sure, there's a sure uh, explanation. Sure. Uh, the explanation is very easy. You, you, you have a crazy man. You have a crazy man. How you can give me a gift like food and, uh, and, and uh, or a book? Hey, I don't know, my friend. My, you cannot give me such a thing. Sorry. And how you can give me food? What do you mean? You want to send me food by mail? The postman, he will eat it. The postman who work in this area, this guy, he sniff anything. And like once, he, you know, I, I, I have a mail. He says to me, there's a garbage in this mail. I told him, how you know? He said, I sniff it, I open, it was Quran. Praise be to Allah. Look at this garbage. This is garbage. This is the prophet who teach you how to clean and uh, and you give us a speech. And now a second ago, Fadi, he was being... Uh, uh, a teaching hate against the Jews, saying the Jews are dirty and they take a shower once a month. Well, your prophet, he take a shower every day. Look at this. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you long. Today it is Saturday, and I'm sure many of you have four wives and four mother-in-law, and you need to take care of them. And I want you to experience this. Please, get some garbage, women blood from period, dead dogs. Throw them in your bathtub. Put some candles around you. Turn the light off. And sit in the bathtub. And remember what happened to the prophet. And then grab some water. Put it in your mouth. And then throw it out, brother. And then put it in your nose. And then uh, and then throw it out, brother. And then your ears. And I will call you back when you are sick in the hospital. In the special emergency room. Hey, don't call me, Faye. Don't call me. We are done for today. Hey, anyway, actually, I, I received uh, some art about the Prophet. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Hey, this art is very amazing. The Prophet, uh, the women, they are camping his hair and taking the lice from his hair, as the Hadith says. This is exactly as it says in the Hadith. All right. The hadith says so. The hadith says so, brother. The hadith. I mean, can you deny that? The hadith says so. Bukhari. So we have to respect the hadith. Okay. All right, guys. Um, we are done for today. Allah knows best. As you see, neither Muhammad, neither Allah knows anything. This is a crazy cult. And the more you learn about it, the more you get disgusted. 
And then the hypocrite, the politically correct, they say to us, nothing wrong with this cult. This is what they say to you. They try to fool you. Everything wrong with this cult. Uh, please help Indonesian Muslims. I'm doing my part, my friend. You want to help the Indonesian? Translate my videos. Copy the video. Make it short if you want. Translate it with subtitle. You don't need to use your voice. I let them listen but I can do more I mean I don't speak Indonesian I wish I speak Indonesian I will then I will do a live broadcast in Indonesian but I this is what I this is the even my English is funny don't you see sometimes I cannot even read some words like ask me a word in English I will not know as an example ask me how to say garbage I don't know how to say God I know how to make garbage but I don't know how to say the word garbage this is remind me when supposedly the angel he said to the prophet read the prophet he says I cannot read and the Muslim they say here he did not say to him read he was saying to him recite have you ever heard in the word somebody somebody saying to you recite and you say to him I can't recite you just, you just did hello unbelievable unbelievable super super intelligence super all right all right, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And uh, uh, I hope uh, Muslims will watch our videos and they will learn and they will see the truth. And let us see what Fadi will happen. And I hope that Fadi, he will purchase as soon as he can a dead dog and he will ask some neighbors to give him period and some garbage. We can donate garbage to Fadi. Everybody, please send uh, uh, Fadi some garbage donation so he can put them all in the shower top and he will make a Beautiful video in his bathtub practicing the Sunnah of the Prophet how the Prophet used to do ablution Very beautiful very sensitive You jump in that bathtub and you imagine around you. There's palm trees Coconut the beach beach versions the versions there too. I like versions. You know, that's why I buy a virgin oil I don't buy a widow oil. I always buy virgin oil Honestly, I don't believe me. I can show you so just uh, you know feel the moment feel them experience the moment this is a priceless moment garbage around you women of blood around you dead dogs the, look here look how safe is the environment even the, the the dog is dead so what are you worried from he's dead yes there's worms inside him eating him yes he stink yes he will make you smell like hello but still he's dead so you are safe there's no worry this is why always I I have a I have a my I have a, I have a song I like it it's called don't worry be happy if the dog in your bath and he is dead from the past jump in it don't worry if the women blood is there and you have no to go anywhere jump in it don't worry if they throw garbage in your bathtub jump in it don't worry be happy I mean that's fantastic life is exciting and I have no stress actually I think that Muhammad here was practicing yoga for us it looks so strange like the yoga brother this is yoga stuff this is like a Mahamata Gandhi yoga but you guys are idiot didn't understand the yoga of the prophet so in the yoga of islam to practice yoga to connect to allah you need dead dogs garbage win a blood from period and dirty stinky water you mix them together brother and then you sniff them in your nose and then in your ears and then in your mouth and then in your face and then your head and your feet and your hands and your eye blue and then after that brother you are pure because this water nothing make it impure i am quoting the big buddha prophet muhammad thank you very much and see you soon again i showed a weak hadith guys this guy hold on hold on he said i showed a weak hadith fadi fadi 
This is not a weak hadith, Fadi. What about the other one, Fadi? Is this is a weak hadith, Fadi? No, it's not a weak hadith, Fadi. Why you are a liar, Fadi? Why? Fadi, I will tell mommy about you. This is not a weak hadith, Fadi. What about this one, Fadi? Is this is a weak hadith, Fadi? It is not a weak hadith, Fadi. You are a liar, Fadi. You are a liar, liar, liar. Chika, 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 Fadi. In the blue moon, you, 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 you. In you, 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 you. Does it say Sahih Hadith, Fadi? Why you are lying, Fadi? I did show a Sahih. I did I, I show a weak Hadith, Fadi? Why you are a liar? What a potato you are, Fadi. You are a professional potato, Fadi. And I give you a certification in the name of Allah. I mean, I was going saying, I'm, I, I, okay, guys, I'm leaving. And Fadi decided to get himself busted in the last moment. Even in the last moment, he wants he want more. I, th I think they became addicted to my spanking. Don't you think so? I think it's an addiction stuff. This is, this is weak hadith, Fadi. Why you are a liar, Fadi? Huh? This is a weak hadith? It's not weak hadith, Fadi. What we will do now? Fadi. I'm really upset from you, Fadi. I was going to donate garbage for you, Fadi, but now I don't think I'm going to do so. I will give my garbage to somebody else. Deserve it. You don't deserve my garbage. Sorry. I really, I really wanted to give you my garbage, but now I don't know. I gave a weak hadith, Fadi. What a potato. Guys, I will give you 40 minutes to download this video and then we will take it off. 40 minutes. Kabich, please download it and always to see the update or the, see if there is a video, you don't see it no more. In my channel, you can go to Patreon, I click on my page and you can find the last video which is missing from my channel. All right. And I want to say thank you for those who download the videos. And please don't forget to subscribe to their channel because they always update you. In case you miss a broadcast, you will find the video which I deleted in their channels. And there's many they are doing that. So I'm very grateful for them. They are doing a great job. Say thank you to them and subscribe to their channel. All right. Thank you very much, guys. And until we see you again soon, I hope you have a good day. And don't practice what I said to you about the dead dogs and women of blood different period. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> I was joking. Hello, disclaimer, disclaimer. Hello. I don't want any of you, your mom, she come home or your wife and she find you making a bubble from menstruation and dead dogs and garbage in your shower tub or jacuzzi. And don't tell them this is a Christian Prince idea. No, Christian Prince did not say that. He was joking. Okay. Disclaimer. I know you. Unbelievable. Man, you cannot say, you know, you cannot say anything these days. Anything. No freedom of speech no more. The uh, and, um, unbelievable. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. And Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. And we prove it every day. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.